I spoke your language, I would tell you about my favorite American movies. Beverly Hills Cop and Flashdance. That's what I was thinking about when we boarded the plane. My first time on a plane. My very first time leaving my birth country. I look out the tiny window and I think, America. To be a welder by day and a dancer by night, that's America. I see Eddie Murphy's smiling face, the cars, the sun, the palm trees. I think about the pretty girl in Flashdance, her cool big dog. My mom shatters my daydream. I hear her shoving our small suitcase up top. What did we pack? Not much. Father wrote in a letter, pack light. This is America. You can get everything here. He left one important detail. This is America. You can get everything here if you have money. After many flights and transfers, we land at JFK. My mom has five dollars in her pocket. It's sticky with sweat. I'm thirsty. She gives me the bill. I watch people press a button. Ice shoots out. I don't want to mess up, so I watch them more. My first observation. Americans like ice. I grab a cup, press the button. Cold, cold, cold. Then Coca-Cola galore. Sweet heaven. We catch another flight to our final destination. It's after midnight when we land. My father isn't there. My mom paces back and forth. Call him, I say. With what money? All I had was the five dollars. We wait by the suitcase. He arrives an hour late, unshaven, aged, skinny. He forgets to hug my mom. He hasn't seen us in over a year. We get to his place. He opens the door, turns on the light. My mom steps back. Is this where you live? No, this is where we live, he corrects her. But it's a single room. Where will the kids sleep? My mom looks around, but there is nothing more for her eyes to see. We walk for hours. It's summer, humid. The way I imagine hell, everything sticks to you. I stop touching my mother for comfort. We're like two jars of dripping honey. We go to the black supermarket a mile away. The shelves are mostly empty, but it's cheaper than the white supermarkets. We wait in line, and then it happens. My mom pulls out the coins and starts counting. She stands there, scanning cans, having to decide what to put back. I get smaller and smaller until I'm just a puddle of pickle juice on the ground. The voices behind us are saying things. I don't know English, but I know enough to melt with shame. We walk back in silence. The plastic bag leaves ugly red marks on my mom's hand. I try to help. She brushes me off. She's ashamed to see me ashamed. I know what she's thinking. Here, my little daughter, we are sticky trash. A month and a day after we arrive in America, she turns 45. She asks my father for one thing, a deodorant. He says we have to save money. The visa expires in two months. And who knows if they'll let us stay? He counts out the change, leaves it on the table. Are you ready for a longer walk? She looks at me and smiles. By the time we get there, we're drenched in sweat, but then the doors open and air-conditioned aisles suck us in. All the shelves are stocked, the air smells delicious and fruity. My mom goes straight to the deodorant aisle. I see something so beautiful, I can't see anything else. A multi-layered, perfectly sculpted, glorious strawberry cake. My mouth waters. I'm so stricken I don't notice my mom standing behind me. Do you want it? Yes, I say. And there it is. She puts back the deodorant, motions to the lady behind the counter to cut one slice, and walks to the cash register. She counts the change, pays. I open the container. I chew, swallow. How is it? She asks. How do I tell her I've never tasted worse cake? I don't answer. Instead, I offer her the cake, but she says it's all for me. I force the rest down my throat. One bite of nasty cake, one swallow of gilt glazed and strawberry juice. One bite of nasty cake, one swallow of no deodorant for your mom. One swallow of here is your shiny America, greedy child. That night, I stare into darkness. I never want my mom counting change again. I must find work, no matter being underage. I get one, 
two, three jobs that don't require English, and I never have another slice of strawberry cake.